A lot of voices. Thank you, Anastasia. 17,000 migrant children now in U.S. custody, and you've heard history repeats itself. Well, here are the photos. On our left, a 2014 picture taken inside a crowded Border Patrol processing facility. On the right, a photo taken this month inside a similar facility. Mosa Kore joining us live to offer some insight about this. Hey there, Sherman. Yeah, both sets of those photos were taken in the Rio Grande Valley. The images shared by U.S. Congressman Henry Guayad. The U.S. rushed to respond to a humanitarian crisis of all of those children at the border in 2014. Nearly six years later, what's changed? You know, the reasons I release those photos, somebody's got to speak for those folks and those, uh, you know, difficult uh, conditions, especially kids. Henry Cuellar represents South Texas in Washington, D.C. These photos he just shared from inside a temporary processing facility in Donna, Texas, are going viral. I found out that in the Donna facility, there's some young girls there that have been kept over 20 days. And as you know, Border Patrol is supposed to keep them only for 72 hours. I asked Health and Human Services, what is happening? They said, we just don't have the space. The federal government didn't have space in 2014 either, when thousands of children from Central and South America created a processing backlog for Border Patrol agents. Photos shared by Cuellar in 2014 show how processing stations were not designed for long-term detention. If you remember in 2014, after those photos were, uh, were published, all of a sudden, they started moving on this. In 2014, the federal government raced to pop up this central processing station. That facility is now getting renovated. So in 2021, another temporary processing facility is holding a new crowd. And I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. We got to address this issue. Nearly six years have passed. The faces have changed. The cramped conditions have not. Immigration is a very emotional issue. That's why it's been so hard to pass immigration reform in Washington, D.C., because everybody comes in and with different lenses and they see it very differently. And yet in photos, it all looks so similar. It's sometimes difficult for the press to get access into those federal facilities. We're at the mercy of the Department of Homeland Security and Border Patrol agents who are clearly dealing with a humanitarian crisis. So Congressman Cuellar sharing these images really does help the world understand what's happening right now at America's southern border. And Sherman, it's, uh, it's exactly why Congressman Cuellar says he's going to continue to share images as soon as he gets them. We've heard of citizen journalists. Maybe we're getting congressional journalists now. Thank you, Melissa. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll have another live report from the border. You can track more of our coverage on KHOU.com and the KHOU 11 app. Now